Hi, I'm Kevin Owens, a visual artist and educator working in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Today, I'm going to talk to you about several African-American artists that have made positive contributions to the art field. All right, so the first artist I'm going to talk to you about is Carrie James Marshall, an African-American artist who has been very influential in not only the lives of many artists, but especially the life of my own self as an artist. He uses black to portray African-American that are featured in his works. And for me, what that does is, you know, creates a presence in the work, right? So, you know, no one is that extreme of a, of a tone, but having that extreme in the painting, I think, you know, creates a confrontation that's um, important for people to see. Artists like Kerry James Marshall have been extremely pivotal in not only increasing the visibility of black artists and black themes in art, um, but just inspiring people. When you're trying to find your artistic voice as an artist and you know, you're looking at other artists for inspiration and ideas and a means to help you define your, um, your place in the field, um, seeing his work was just like, as a painter, just like gave me inspiration and gave me like the will to continue to make work that um, I was moved by. Another artist who's been influential in my work as well has been Kara Walker, who's most known for her silhouettes. Um, so she's taking a lot of themes um, around the history of African Americans in this country, particularly slavery, and has uh, essentially uh, transformed it. What's engaging about her work is how confrontational it is. Um, maybe, you know, if you've not heard of Kara Walker before and you come, you know, into a space with some of, to be presented with some of the, the imagery that you're presented with can be very shocking. It's so open to interpretation, and that's why I, 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 I talk about how she uses these histories, right? So she's creating history, is she recreating history, or is she, you know, telling, you know, accurately these stories? So I think there's a lot of ambiguity in what's happening between the figures in these landscapes and these stories. You know, the figures become distorted, become grotesque a lot of times. You know, like I said, she's combining animals and, and, and human figures and combining uh, people and they just become this, this just strange environment, which again is in some sense a reflection of the history itself. I do feel like Again, just having visible artists of any gender, especially you know, female black artists, is vitally important for the times we live in, um, especially um, considering the history of this nation and um, just the lack of representation that we have from you know, a variety of segments of our population. All right, another African-American artist who's been influential in the history of art has been Jean-Michel Basquiat. So Basquiat was a graffiti artist and it's highly recognizable. Um, like if you saw one of his paintings, you may not know, oh, that's a Basquiat, but um, the, his style of painting, um, the sort of um, this uh, scrawled kind of uh, fast, uh, colorful, bright, um, graphic, bold um, art making is, um, is very recognizable. Because of Basquiat's association with Andy Warhol and other art um, luminaries, um, I think helped propel him in, a, in the direction that his, his work took because there are probably, you know, tens of other Basquiat's, you know, making work just like that, but, right, we, we talk about Basquiat, um, so there's, you know, something there in his work. Um, like I said, when I saw it in person, it, 
you know, it, it, it touched me in a way that I didn't, you know, think seeing it, you know, in a book, you know, and versus real life, you know, that, so there's definitely something there, but again, this idea of bad art or art that, you know, doesn't necessarily look like traditional art or, you know, oh, you know, my five-year-old could, you know, make something like that. Um, <laughs> it's an argument, you know, you could make, but again, the ideas behind the work um, help propel it and help drive it forward and make it what it is today. The next artist we're going to talk about is Lorna Simpson, a contemporary artist, photographer, uh, who's largely known for her black and white photography. Uh, she does also work in color. A lot of her work deals largely with uh, identity and historical memory um, and culture. It's not explicitly stated, you know, what's necessarily happening in her photographic work, and I think that's um, also a part of what drew me to her work as an artist, um, this ability to convey these ideas in a way that's very thought-provoking, uh, in a way that's um, engaging. Uh, having come across her work, her use of text and the figures, um, the way she stages, the way she places the figure, the way she um, cuts off certain parts of the figure's body um, in order to say something about um, again, identity, her identity, um, identity that's maybe imposed on her body um, has been influential in, in my work as an artist. The next artist we're going to talk about is Kahinde Wiley. Um, he's a contemporary painter uh, known for his uh, large-scale historical paintings of um, African Americans. What drew me to um, his work was not only the, the monumental scale, um, the surface quality, his, his use of color um, and pattern and texture, um, his connections that he's making to modern times and art historical time periods, um, specifically the Renaissance and Baroque, and um, combining them in a way that speaks to a generation. So those were five artists that have been influential in not only my artistic practice, but again, the lives of so many artists working today. And if you'd like to explore further, Mesquite Art Center will provide a list of not only these artists, but other artists that you can go and explore and discover for yourself.